Hello learners today in this video we are going to learn 8th standard science chapter number 6 composition of matter we have learned about various states of matter here we will discuss about characteristics of states of matter before we get started let's take a look at the agenda in this session the first module is various states of matter where we will acquaint ourselves with three different states of matter followed by next module characteristics of states of matter lastly we will move towards elements compounds and mixtures in this session we will get familiar with vocabulary words like intermolecular force element compound and mixture matter matter is all about you all atoms and compounds are made up of very small pieces of matter such atoms continue to build the everyday things you see and touch matter is defined as anything that has mass means it has volume and takes up space let's begin with the first module that is various states of matter all the materials we see in our daily lives from ice cream to chairs to water are made up of matter matter can be classified into three different states such as solid liquid and gas on the basis of intermolecular forces and the arrangement of particles these three forms of matter can be converted from one state to matter to another state by changing certain environmental factors means increasing or decreasing pressure and temperature for instance ice can be converted from solid into liquid water by increasing the temperature let's see the description of various states of matter the first state is solid the solid state is one of the fundamental states of matter solids differ from liquids and gases by the characteristics of rigidity the molecules of solid are tightly packed because of strong intermolecular forces they only oscillate about their mean position whereas liquids and gases possesses the property of fluidity and can easily flow solids can be defined as the state of matter which has definite shape and volume and has a rigid structure solid possesses the least compressibility and thermal expansion examples are glass bricks cheese ice etc the second state is liquid the molecules in a liquid are closely packed due to weak intermolecular forces these forces are weaker than solids but stronger than that of gases there is much space in between the molecules of liquids which makes their flowing ability easy liquids can easily acquire the shape of vessel and they have a fixed volume convergence of solids into liquid takes place when we increase the temperature of solid to a point where solid begins to melt generally 
the density of liquid lies between the density of solids and gases compressibility and thermal expansion of liquids are slightly higher than that of solids examples are water juice etc third state is gas in this state of matter the distance between the molecules are large intermolecular distance is in the range of 10 raised to minus 7 to 10 raised to minus 5 cm the intermolecular forces experienced between them are negligible gases do not have fixed shape and volume they also possesses high compressibility and thermal expansion example is air various gases like oxygen nitrogen etc let's turn towards the second method of classification of matter in previous standard we have learned that matter is classified into three types element compound and mixture let's see the characteristics of element element is defined as a pure chemical substance made up of same type of atom and it is represented using symbol for example oxygen represented using symbol o2 element contains only one type of atom each atom has the same atomic number that is same number of protons in the nucleus examples are hydrogen oxygen sodium gold carbon aluminum silver etc here is the example of nitrogen element in nitrogen molecule constituent substance of element is only one and that is nitrogen all the atoms of a nitrogen element are alike and joined to each other by covalent bond a covalent bond is a chemical bond that involves the sharing of electron pairs between atoms let discuss about compound we can define compound as a compound contains atoms of different elements chemically combined together in a fixed ratio a compound is represented using its chemical formula that represent the symbol of its constituent element and the number of atom of each element in one molecule of compound for example water is represented by using symbol h2o and sodium chloride represented as nacl compounds contain different elements in a fixed ratio arranged in a defined manner through chemical bond they contains only one type of molecule element that compose the compound are chemically combined the element in a compound do not always retain their original properties and can't be separated by physical mean examples are water and sodium chloride sodium bicarbonate etc here is the example of water you may have heard water called as h2o the name refers to the chemical formula of water h2o so 
Water is made up of elements but is not itself an element. Water is a compound and a compound forms whenever two or more atoms form chemical bonds with each other. The chemical formula of water is H2O. It means each molecule of water consists of one oxygen atom chemically bonded to two hydrogen atoms. A compound pure water is formed by chemical combination of the elements hydrogen and oxygen whatever may be the source of water. The proportion of its constituent elements oxygen and hydrogen by weight is always 8 as to 1. Hydrogen is an inflammable gas while oxygen gas supports combustion. However, the compound water formed by chemical combination of the gaseous elements hydrogen and oxygen is a liquid. It is neither inflammable nor does it support combustion. On the contrary, it helps to extinguish fire. Let's see general properties of mixtures. Mixtures are made up of two or more substances that are not chemically combined with each other. The proportion of constituent substances in a mixture can change. The properties of constituent substances are written in the mixture. The proportion of the components is variable. Example of mixture are crude oil. It is a mixture of organic compounds mainly hydrocarbons. Sea water, it is a mixture of various salt and water. Air is a mixture of various gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, argon, etc. Above picture describes the visualization difference between elements, compound and mixture. Pure substances are classified into two types that is element and compound while mixtures are classified into two types homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. This chart describes the comparison between element, compound and mixture. So let's summarize what we have learned in this session. Pupils are able to differentiate between various states of matter and able to describe characteristics of states of matter. At the end of the session, students are able to describe the difference between elements, compounds and mixture. This is all for today's session. Thank you.